Hi guys, it's me. So I have a super fun tutorial that I hope that you will love as much as I do. Um, we are going to be making some face stamps. I got this um, idea from a YouTuber. I will link her video below. And it's so simple and fun to make. <laughs> now, if you belong to my membership, so you're just going to need some simple supplies for this. Some scissors. You'll need some type of thick cardboard to actually be the base of your stamp. And then you're going to need some fun foam. I love the kind that um, has uh, that has sticking on it already. So that's what I'm going to use. But you could also just use the foam sheets from the dollar store. That works out great too. You'll just need a little bit of glue to adhere them. So you can use whatever kind of glue you want. And it's so simple and easy to make. So let's make maybe three or four of them together. Um, you're just going to do a face shape. So I'm just going to cut some of this down and this is just a back of a watercolor pad that I have um, it's really nice thick cardboard so that's what I'm going to use but use whatever you want you can customize them make them as big or as small as you want <laughs> it's so much fun so let's use the sticky foam first fun foam and you're gonna need an eye, so you can cut out whatever shapes you want. She actually uses scraps um, to make her stamps, um, but I actually cut out all my shapes. And then you can go in and just do what you want. So you can make it however you want. This one, I think I'm going to actually make like a lid with an eyeball and kind of leave it open, so like that. And I like my faces to be mismatch and kind of oversized. <laughs> so that's just my thing. You don't have to do that. Um, so we can do, maybe we'll do something like that. And then you can do a nose shape. So there's lots of different ways to make a nose. Sometimes you can even use some of the scraps um, are already done for you. I kind of like that as a nose too. But maybe a little bit smaller. Yeah. So we'll do nose and just keep in mind kind of proportion. So add as much or as little to the face as you want. I think maybe I'll do it this way. I'm going to cut this down just a little bit. So there's no right or wrong way to do this. Just kind of add as much or as little as you want. Maybe I'll do a half face for this one. Alrighty. And then we'll add some lips. So I'm just going to do just a little bit of a kind of M shape <laughs> for my mouth. And these are addictive, I will warn you. Very good. So that will be a mouth. And then we'll go ahead and make the bottom of our mouth. And she even like outlines the faces and stuff like that. Um, which is fun. But I think it would be fun to kind of doodle in your own outline. But do as you wish just like that okay so that's one done you can add cheeks you can add hair you can add a neckline whatever you want is totally fine you can um, also add eyebrows I think that'd be cool maybe I'll cut this down just a little bit we'll add another eye yeah that's kind of a cool eye and I like these to be fun and whimsical, but you can absolutely make them super realistic, which would be fun too. Yeah, so let's do that one. Something like that. Make a smaller eye. So you can kind of channel your inter Picasso, which is fun. Okay, so we can bring things down. We can make the eye a little bit higher. That might be cool. Maybe we'll bring that over like this and this one. Maybe I'll just make a circle. Or like a funny shape eye or something. I could even do like a swirl. That would be cool. Maybe I'll try a swirl. Let's experiment. Let's see what we can come up with. How about? Yeah, we'll make a swirly eye. This would be super fun to do with kids. How fun. And then you can just you're gonna take off the backing of your 
sticky foam <laughs> sticky fun foam and as I said you could add eyebrows cheeks whatever you want a neck a shape of a face you could probably even add hair the sky is the limit so much fun so let's go ahead and stick this down and I like like when there's gaps too because then you can kind of fill things in and make it a little bit fun so but it's but it's up to you and this stuff is so simple to manipulate so super fun and the great thing is you get instant gratification if you do it this way you do not have to wait um, for anything to dry just press it down um, which is nice sometimes I like quick quick projects like this so I am going to grab a piece of paper once I can figure out which one I would like to grab maybe we'll do oh. so these are the ones that I stamped out before Let's add some here. Okay, and we're gonna try out this stamp. You can use paint on these, ink, whatever you want. It will work out just fine. <laughs> Even markers work really, really well. I love using markers and stamps with kids. And you're just gonna kinda load it up nice and even, just like that. It's a little dry of a stamp and you're just going to press down. I'm going to do it maybe up here. Press, 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 press. And look at that. You have a cool face stamp. <laughs> that is so cool and original. I'm going to stamp out on here too. Get rid of all that ink. So really fun. I mean, like I said, the sky is the limit. You can make so many cool faces. Um, so let's do another one. This time I'll use the green so you can see how to glue it down. Alrighty, and this time, how about I will make kind of a face shape. So I love to make the face features huge, so I'm gonna make myself not do that, <laughs> okay? So let's go ahead and, and the scraps are really good for making, like if you want to outline the face um, in the neck, then that will work. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut out some eyes. Shape, and then I just kind of go through and I make, you can look at magazines if you need ideas for, you know, parts. Kind of an interesting eye so we'll do that one and then if i wanted to i could even add a little bit on the base let's do that and it is still too big right because i want an outline <laughs> but i'm going to save that for something else so let's try this again shimmy <laughs> all righty what can i say i like making things big okay so we'll go ahead and do something like that and like that okay so that will be our eye righty and just save your little scraps because like i said that will be what goes around and then we'll do let's do another one so we'll do something this time i'll do it open do more of a an arched eye go ahead and just go around that to make an eyeball. Make that round so that you know that it's an eyeball, maybe. Just like that. You can make them different levels. I kind of like to do that. <laughs> so they're kind of, they're kind of weird looking eyes. I think that's cool. But I kind of like wacky, odd things. I'm an odd person. What can I say? Okay, we'll do that. I'm just going to make the bottom of the eye. Or faux kind of bottom of the eye. Just like that. That should work. Okay, and then we'll do the nose. So you can do a triangle for the nose. You can do an L shape. Let's maybe do an L. You can just do like a rectangle and I think that would work great too. So whatever you want is just fine. Let's do this kind of shape. 
for our nose. And as I said, I have another idea that would be fun. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Okay, L shape, easy. Okay, and then we can do a mouth. You can do the mouth however you want. You can make a huge mouth, a little mouth, whatever you like, a button mouth, a circle will be fine for a mouth, whatever you want, it's totally fine. Ooh, that's a cool mouth. I'm going to save that one. <laughs> okay, let's try this little piece. I'm going to cut it down kind of to the size that I want it to be. But isn't that cool? That's a cool mouth too. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, these are addictive. <laughs> okay, so you can go ahead and go like that and like that. I just made a little arch thingy magicler there. Nothing too fancy cool he's cool and then if we want to make a face or an outline we could just go and grab our little thin pieces here and just connect them and you can make the outline of the face like that right and you'll put the glue down and everything will be good it won't move around like things do for me when I make them <laughs> let's do that and you just kind of piece it together if you put them close then of course you'll have a smoother kind of stamp thing going on okay but let's start gluing this down a little bit so I'm just going to use the flat brush that I used before and I'm going to start gluing some things down. So let's do this. And of course you can use, you know, the glue in the bottle. I like using glue like in a container. It's just easier. You can make the nose go as high as you want. You can make it so it lines up. Whatever you want is fine. You are the boss of your art. I kind of like it there, so I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> okay. And then let's do the mouth. Just like that. Perfect. And then we'll do this one. And these are supposed to be fun, whimsical faces, right? That you can stamp in your journal or on your projects. And they're fun and they're simple and they're easy. that is what I love about them. Sometimes it's nice not to have such serious art. <laughs> it's fun to just have fun and just make really silly faces. <laughs> just like that. That is so cool. And if you touch the pieces together, then um, you're design will be continuous. So even if you're using a bunch of different pieces, you won't be able to tell. So if you let things touch, sometimes I like things to touch, sometimes I don't. So I'll just do what we can here. Let's do this guy. There we go. We can stick this guy here like so. I'm going to not add a hair, but you could absolutely do that. I think that would be really cool too. This will take a little bit to dry. Just like that. And then of course, if you had left room, which I did not do, you could have made a neck too. And that would have worked too. And if we want to, we could even add his bottom lip, maybe. Just maybe. Okay. There we go. So I like just a little bit of a crack. So that looks cool. And then you could add on top. So you could make a bigger eyeball, whatever you want. It's good. 
it will work out great, I promise. So you'll just let that dry. It kind of looks like a little baby face. I think you can even add ears. Whatever you want is fine. So I'm going to do a couple more. I'm going to put them in fast forward motion um, so that you can see. Um, and yeah, hopefully I'll come up with some ideas <laughs> of things to make. Hi guys, so I'm just going to be really creative here and just cut out lots of different shapes for the face. Um, you can just look up even really cool abstract features and I think that would work out really, really well too. So I'm just going to keep working through um, my stamps. This was so fun. I made a whole stack of these so I know that you'll enjoy the process too. So now they're all done. So I am going to show you me using paint and I am going to stamp on to some of these surfaces. So I have a piece of plastic packaging. So from stickers, from, you know, kits that you get in the mail work really, really well. But anything that has that plastic works very, very well. And I'm just inking them up with just black acrylic paint. Um, and it's really, really easy in a brush. Um, you could also use a sponge for this, but you'll just apply the paint pretty quickly. There's always a lot of paint left on it, so you can put it on your under mat or your under paper that you're working on too. And I really love how these turned out. I'm going to put them in my stash and you'll definitely see them in pages and in art projects. But these stamps are super fun um, to make and create. And I actually have another idea too. Um, so I can't wait to share that with you too. But I hope that you enjoy this video and that you make tons of these stamps. Um, please like this video and subscribe. If you know a friend that might enjoy it, it'd be great if you could share it with them too. And I cannot wait to see your beautiful stamps. You can always tag me on Instagram. I love to share your posts. Um, if you decide to make these stamps or you create them in a page or something, you can tag me. It's just my name, Shani Dixon. And I hope that you enjoy this project. I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.